So I worship you, Lord. My Lord, and I love you, Lord. You are my God. Lift up your two hands and thank Him. So I worship you, God. You are my Lord, and I love. that I live for. You are all that I live for and do nothing without you. Nothing without you. you. Hold my hand, Lord. I can't get lost. I'm with you. Lord, I am with you. you lead me up, Lord. I can never go down. So I worship Shout out praise everywhere. So I worship God. You are my Lord. And I love you, Lord. You are my Church, let me hear you. So I worship God. Your love for me is more. Oh, the 
your word is sure and it keeps me going keeps me going i worship you i give you all the praise i bless you lord bless i bless your name lift your hands out away Lift your hands and sing it. Macho. Your, your word. The one that I live for, lift your voice. Can you give the Lord a shout of praise, James Chapel? You are the one that I live for, one that I live for. and I'm in love with you. From every arrow, Jesus, you are my protection. Yeah, from every arrow. Oh, I love you, Lord. Ah, but your love for me is more. Your word is sure, and it keeps. Be going, keep me going. I worship you. I give you all the praise. I bless you, Lord. I bless your name. You are my keeper, you are my lover. I bless you, Lord. Lord, I bless your name. I bless you, Lord. Lord, bless your name. I bless you, Lord. Lift your hands. I bless your name. I bless you, Lord. I bless your name. I bless your name. In the morning when I rise, I bless you, Lord. Jesus, I bless your name. Bless you, Lord. Bless your name. I bless you, Lord. Give the Lord a shout, Jem Chapel. I bless your name. Can you shout better than you just did? I bless you, Lord. Bless your name. I bless your name. Oh, Lord. I bless your name. Oh, Lord. I bless your name. I worship you forever. I worship you forever. I worship you forever. I worship you. Lift your hands. I bless your name. 
Right now you lift your voice and worship bless us. Bless your name. Bless your name. Lift your voice and lift your heart. Worship you forever. From the morning to the night. It will not stop. I worship you. Can you lift up your spirit? Lift up your soul. Lift your hand. Owner of heaven and earth, lift the voice. Owner of heaven and you brought us. Everybody be born. Worship him. Let's take it again. Owner of heaven and earth, lift your voice everywhere. You brought us here to worship you. To worship you. Yes, 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 yes. As we worship forever, lift the voice. As we worship forever, we subdue. You bring soul. I worship you forever. I worship you forever. In the morning, when I rise, hear me when I say, I was Come on, lift your voice. I worship you forever. Through the shadow of that, keep on only. Through the shadow of death, you are always with us. You always with us. You always bring us out. You always bring no matter what you are going through, He brings us out. Us out. We always triumph through Christ. We, we always triumph. triumph. Let's take it again. Through, through the shadow of death, you are always with us. Come on. Through the shadow of death, you are always, you always with us. You always, you always bring. Oh, you are out. You are out. We always try. We always try. Come on. I worship you forever. I worship you forever. It will not stop you forever. I worship you. I worship you You know what to do, give Lord a shout. I bless your name. Oh Lord, I bless your name. Yeah. Oh Lord, shout 
Shalabaka. Lift your voice, church. I worship. I'm going to sing it again. I bless your name. Can you lift your hands? Lift your voice. I bless your name. Every voice lifted. Bless your name. Every voice lifted. Every heart lifted. I worship forever. Come on, everybody. Lift your hands. We worship you forever. Can you give him a shout of praise? Always, always, lover of my soul, one of you forever. Worship for always, for always. Come on, Come on, let's worship him. Let's worship the King of Kings. Let's worship the I am that I am. Let's worship the only potent. My Jesus, I worship you forever. For always, for always. It will not stop for always. You are good. You are God. Always. My lover, I worship forever. We worship for always. Time it is, Savior. I worship forever. So, Yanana, Shanana, Shanana, always you are. It is higher than every name anywhere. Every knee bows at the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your name is Jesus. It is higher than every name anywhere.
but no name under heaven yeah given by which man can be saved only one name That can stand when we call on the name Sickness by Sickness by Atmosphere. There is an atmosphere. Oh yes. When you call on the name of the Lord, it is an atmosphere, is an atmosphere of glory and miracles. There is an atmosphere. There is an atmosphere. Mention his name. Get out of us. There is an atmosphere. Lift your hands, church. Sing it. There is an atmosphere when you call on the name of the Lord. It is an atmosphere, is an atmosphere of glory and miracles. There is an atmosphere when we call. When we call on the name of the Lord, it is a night. Start the song part. We're going to mention the name of Jesus seven times because there is an atmosphere when you call on the name of the Lord. It is an atmosphere of glory and miracles. Number one, Jesus. Number two, Jesus. Number three, Jesus. Number four, Jesus. Number five, Jesus. Number six, Jesus. Are you ready for the last one? Number seven, Jesus, glory. Oh, thank you, Father. Let's be seated. If Rhoda is watching online, Rhoda, my daughter in Sweden, I saw the angel of the Lord doing 
a surgery on your body and say the spirit of the Lord every part of your body that needed a working on the Lord said it has been worked on you have received a total healing a total overhauling of your body you are healed you are strengthened anyone watching online who needs one testimony or the other online the Lord said it has appeared it has arrived in the name of the Lord Jesus and anyone who is here looking for one healing one testimony or the other the Lord said it has arrived for you in the name of Jesus please let's be seated lift up your right hand say Holy Spirit I love you say Holy Spirit I need you say Holy Spirit you are my sweetest heart you are my dearest one say Holy Spirit take over take charge take all the glory say Holy Spirit give me understanding and I shall live in Jesus name can I get an amen, amen. Wow glory to Jesus Do you know that I'm seeing a lot of business contracts in the atmosphere and I'm also seeing seeing passports Lord is making to me some of you he's making you international Lord says some of you your business will be international your life will be international receive it in the name of Lord Jesus I am seeing a particular season in the ministry Lord is ministering to me that if you want to travel you want to travel Lord said that it will be very easy for you to get a visa receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you Holy Spirit thank you Holy Spirit I saw the angels of God giving people toughies and Lord said that you are going to enjoy the sweetness of God Please be seated. I want to teach the word of God. But it looks like I'm still seeing certain things in the realms of the spirit. Joel chapter 2 and the verse number 4. Concerning the end time. I mean, let's take it from verse 1. Joel 2, 1. Badu Vali Kapash. So as I'm teaching, be ready for anything. I can mix everything. We call it mixed fruit. He said, blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of Jem Chapel of the land of Ghana tremble for the day of the Lord comes for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. Somebody say he's talking about me. Now, Joel chapter 2 described the end time army. And we are that army. And we are that army. We are that end time army. You must understand it. And today the Lord said I should talk about strength. I'm talking about strength. Somebody shout strength. I didn't hear you. I'm not hearing you. Strength. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. He said, a great people and a strong. Please, can you shout, shout that two times? Ready, go. For the last time. A great people and a strong. That is the description of the end time army. A great people and a strong. Isaac Blanson, a great people and a strong. <laughs> and that's why in this AGM, you are entering greatness. Listen, the end time army is not a small army. I'm talking about the individuals. They are great. And they are strong. Tell two people that you are not a small person. You are a great person. Tell another person. In case the way they said it didn't convince you, tell yourself, I am a very great person. I'm not a small person. Uh-huh. Please be seated, praise the Lord. A great person and a strong. And look at the look at your description. Are you ready for your description? I said, are you ready for your description? He said, there has not been ever the like. That means that nobody has ever risen like you before. Different. Be see that. Neither shall be any more after it. So this generation of soldiers, 
and military people that God is raising. God said before that, nobody has arisen ar ar like that. He said after that, no army can rise like that. You are the one I'm talking about. I impose greatness upon everything you do. Please receive it and pray. He said, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. Three. He said, a fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is like the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. All of us are going to read verse 4 together. Ready? Go. Verse 4 again. If, to, to see that as you are reading, you are reading about yourself. How do you appear? Ready, go. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Ha. Please be seated. Let's jump to Job 39 19. What am I talking about? Strength. Job 39, 19. Has thou given the horse strength? Has thou clothed his neck with thunder? So God was describing the horse. The Bible said we will appear like horses. So you must know how the horse appears. You must know the description of the horse. And God was questioning Job. He said, have you given the horse strength? He said, the horse is very strong. And are you the one who gave the strength to the horse? God was, God was testifying to the strength of the horse. And God was saying that even the neck of the horse is clothed with thunder. That's why we have horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> have you given the horse strength? That means talk about the horse. You talk about strength and speed. Now there are some of you, normally your bodies are weak. Your bodies are weak. Your intellect is weak. When you go to school, it's like you are helpless. It's like you cannot do it even in business. You look at the business and say, what do I do? All areas in your life, in this AGM, strength is coming. Yeah. What is the implication of our appearance as horses? When the Bible says we are horsemen with strength, what is the implication? Of our appearance as horses. The end time army is appearing as horses. What's the implication? Number one. I said the battle horse is a symbol of strength, unbeatable strength. So it's not just strength, but it is what? Unbeatable. That means it doesn't matter anything that is coming out at you. It can say that I'm strong. But when it, it meets your strength, your strength is an unbeatable one. It cannot be beaten. That's why in, in science, that is in the science of physics and electronics power, we measure it using the horse. Even your AC is measured by using what? Horsepower. So when the AC is one horsepower, 1 1.5 horsepower, 2 horsepower, th the, the more the horsepower, the more expensive it is and the more it can blow you cold. So power is synonymous to horses. You will never be powerless. So it is not possible to be a member of the end time army and be a weakling. Say after me, say I'm not, I'm, I'm not weak. Again. Say I'm not powerless. Say I cannot be wasted. That is why when they are going to war, they don't use donkeys. In the olden days, when they were going to war, they don't use what, what do they use? The horse is useful for battle because of its strength, because of its strength, its speed. In the olden days, they wouldn't even as much as a, a camel can travel long distances and has some tenacity to travel long. They don't use camels for battle. It's horses. Any battle you are engaged in in this season. You are going to carry that unbeatable power and strength. Now the question is, why is the strength necessary? We are still on point one. So one A. When were you at CJSS? 
We had one A to one H, the class. Two words was one each. Why is the strength necessary? A. Strength is the guarantee of victory in battle. Sometimes we say victory in battle. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 10. Strength is the guarantee of victory in battle. Proverbs 24, verse 10. It says, if you faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is what? It's not because the enemy is big. It's your strength that is small. It's not because the devil is wise. It's your strength that is small. See, one day I was listening to a song and I really now understood the lyrics. At first I didn't know. Not knowing that it was bad like that. And people sing it and they are dancing. It's a tree song. It's like, is it a tree or a woo song like that? Oh, well, what song is I've forgotten the lyric, the, 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 the tune. You know, did remember something like that? What, 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 how did they start it? How did they start it? Yes. Why do they start it? Huh? No, it's not that one. No, it's not that one. Yeah, do you remember? Bakubi almost born some wedding. Bakubi, one Bakubi almost born some wedding, you know. Jidia when you shop we eh foster Foster ne beti mi abo foster ne mane bo Jidia when you shop we eh Jidia when you shop we eh then there is something Did you see that some we na bo some wedding how How no, so have you seen the, the kind of songs that we even sing? So Jidim here because born some wedding. We're not knowing that we are the part, we are the end time army. We, we carry the horsepower. We carry the unbeatable strength. Hey! Born some wedding saying, please be seated. Do you know that's how people talk? Do you know some Christians talk like that? <laughs> Do you know how they talk? Please, those of you who are watching everywhere, I'll say it in three, then I'll explain. But as I'm one day advising you, righteous come. It is what it is. From morning, you are okay now. Good. His eyes was one centimeter. His eyes are dilated one centimeter. Do you know when they are advising you? They say they say this way. I mean, where do you? I'm not so sure. Do not people talk like that? If you are in this church, never talk like that. Don't advise, advise people like that. What's the mean? Where do you? I want someone to know where they are. I'm saying that I'm say, call the strong go. The devil too strong. That's how they talk. But the end time, I mean, our strength will make useless the strength of the devil. The end time, I mean. Oh, I'm talking about you. I'm, I'm talking about you. You are receiving strength in all areas. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet to anything that concerns you, receive the strength of God. Receive the strength of God. I said, receive the strength of God. Come on, shout yes. I said, shout yes. Shout yes, 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 yes. Be seated, the praise of the Lord. God bless you, righteous people. Yeah. Strength is the guarantee of victory in battle. He said, if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is more, thy strength is more. The availability of strength is the elimination of defeat. When strength is available, you eliminate defeat. That's why I know that if you are part of the end time, end time army, you cannot be defeated in any battle. Listen, it doesn't matter how long it takes, you will win. It's certified. Doesn't matter. Faith always triumphs. Faith always wins. Anyone sitting here with any battle you are dealing with now, I came to tell you that with the strength of God, you are winning. No, you are coming out with a testimony. Any 
anything you are facing now look at my face look at my name is Papaben, and i'm telling you the word of god the lord says you tell you you will win and you have won yeah 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 you win it doesn't matter the battle now so now receive the strength of god let let strength be, be be enforced over your spirit over your soul over your body in the name of jesus please be seated so whether in your family whether in your workplace if anybody throws any arrow against you it should backfire because uh you are not you said it should backfire where strength is lacking battles are lost battles are lost where strength is what lacking he said if you faint in the day of adversity it was because your strength was small look at a witch or a wizard in your family don't be afraid you carry the greater strength In that business, you carry the greater strength. Yeah. You know, some of you, even emotionally, you are not strong. Yeah. If something hits you small, like you are, you are just, you don't know what to do. Today I'm putting emotional strength inside your spirit. Yeah. Strength in your spirit, strength in your emotions, strength in your soul, strength in your body, Receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Sometimes say I'm strong. What is your name? Say I'm Mr. Armstrong. Please receive them from God. B. One B. Strength when he's doing outdoor and bringing money. Hallelujah. B. <laughs> One B. Strength is the guarantee of exploits in life in, in ministry and in business strength is the guarantee of exploits in life in ministry and in business daniel 11:32 Yeah. Are you getting the point? Look at Daniel eleven thirty two. Ready? Go. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. Let's all read the the next sentence with vim. Ready? Go. But the people that know their God, what shall happen? They shall be what? And what will they do? And they will do exploits. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be strong and after the strength, the next thing is exploits. What is exploits? Greater works. What is exploits? Attention commanding results. Some of you have not yet commanded the attention of your generation. But I decree over your lives in the name of the Lord Jesus. God is going to do something with you. God is going to do something in you. God is going to let you do something in your generation. You are going to catch the attention of your generation in the name of Jesus. What is exploits? Record breaking results. Some of you are about to break business records. Only five business people heard me here. I said, Some of you are about to break business records. A kitty palatis of aladas. Some of you in your family, you are about to break marital records, marriage records. Some of you in your organization, you are about to you are about to break certain records that people have set in the organization. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in that industry, in that line of business, you are about to break records. In the name of Jesus, shout yes, shout yes, shout yes, 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 yes. Shout it two times. I break records. I didn't hear you shout number two. That's what the end time army must do. Listen, from today, anywhere you are, see yourself as a, the record breaker there. You will achieve what nobody has achieved. He said, those who know God, they are strong. And as a result of the strength, they do exploits. They do great works. They do things that command attention. They do things that make them a wonder. 
they do things that make them a sign in their generation they herald new horizons they forage new frontiers they do what, what has not been done before they go where nobody has gone in your family that is what you are going to do you will overcome and help others to come over in the name of jesus say i do exploits say my resource commands attention please be seated and praise the lord one only one is exploits one only exploits is setting unusual impact for a generation set it all that's why i was very happy when a material was named after you one day I was on social media and I saw somebody advertising that please bring the, these styles to me and I'm going to sew it for you at 300 CDs. And when I saw the styles, all the styles, it was only one of me's picture that was there. I even forgot. I said I'll report the guy to one but I said, Mundi Dibi. But he came to meet plenty of people in the fashion industry. But now materials are named after him. But he has not seen anything yet. Let me show him. Hey, James, your generation are going to command their attention. I'm prophesying to you, Pastor Michael. You are going to command your generation's attention. Yeah. Pastor Brian, you are commanding the attention. Yeah. Lady Pastor will have me know who's one, sir. You are commanding your generation's attention. Yeah. Pastor Samuel Kwesi Denke Abe, you are commanding your generation's attention. Yeah. Lady Pastor Bell, you are commanding your generation's attention. Yeah. Lady Pastor China, you are commanding your generation's attention. Yeah. Pastor Fell, you are commanding your generation's attention. Yeah. Lady Pastor Moji, you are commanding your generation's attention. Lady Pastor Nanajua, you are commanding your generation's attention. All the pastors, Pastor Foster, you are commanding your generation's attention. Now let me come to every member, missionary, elder, deacon, steward. You are, you are commanding the attention of your generation. In Jesus' name. Please be seated. Please, if you're a pastor, lady pastor, come, let me lay hands on you. Attention, commanding resource. Pastor Peku, you are here. Bless. Pastor Amo. Uh, Bishop, put yourself for home. Bless. Jesus. Somebody will say, Papa, but what about me? It's not serious. So for now. <laughs> Can you all stretch what your hand towards me? You, you, are, you are going to do things that will command your generation's attention. Please you sit in the presence of the Lord. Matopaka Kalada. I have a few minutes to close. Yeah. Strength. Do you know there are people who have ability, but they lack energy? They, they, they can do the thing, but they are laid back. They lack energy. One of the most painful things is when you have ability, but you lack energy. One day somebody almost died. Because I had to go and pray for the person. And yet I was tired. What did I do? I said, Lord, the spirit of might. I got up, went, drove, went to pray for the person, and the person lived. <laughs> imagine, imagine if I was having ability, but not energy. Somebody, a life would have been lost. Some people, they know how to play football, but when they play for 20 minutes, they are tired. Last time I saw came home and we were playing football. He played for 10 minutes, then he was lying on the tiles. 
that day, I scored them seven nil. Yet also no how to play. So at that time, on the football pitch, he had ability, but he lacked energy. And yet he's got also energy. Now have you seen those who are very skillful on the football pitch, but they will play small, and the coach has to call them into substitution and bring a substitute to play because they lack energy. Most people, they know, some people, they want to come to the camp, but they are tired. <laughs> Amen. No energy. Some people they know how to do things, but they lack energy. And so when the boss is calling for someone to come, he's like, Oh no, this one cannot do it. Or when they, they want the one they can give the contract to. Pastor NK told me something, I mean, some time ago. He was telling me that when when <laughs> <laughs> there was one guy. Have you seen a time came where the energy of the internet was lost? And MTN, all the data were not working. People would go online and online was not online. In. Nothing was working. The guy was working with a company outside, working from home. And every month he was getting a salary of over 3,000 euros. That one day that the internet messed up, by the time the internet came, they had sent him a letter that they had sacked him. Yeah. He sent pictures that, and, and, and things, evidence to show that the internet, was, it, it was a national thing. No country, they, never mind, they didn't mind him. Then the guy was one of the best people. He was good. Every time he was working and getting a salary. But because there was lack of energy, very sad. <laughs> GH, 24 GH. The guy was sacked and now he's unemployed. Yes. He has ability, but he lacks energy. For example, you know how to do, you can live destiny. You, 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 you can do well. You can really do well, but you lack energy. You lack energy. It's like you don't have the strength. You know the, you know the thing to do. It's like the strength to do it is not there. Today, strength has come. I said today, strength has come. For you, your children, your spouse, for everything. You're doing. I said, strength has come. Please be seated. Many people, they are, some, they are talented, but they are weak. But you will be talented and you will be strong in the name of Jesus. Because one of you, if you are going to operate beyond the ordinary, you cannot have an ordinary schedule. Your schedule must be very tiresome, engaging. Not because you are not ordinary. If your schedule is ordinary, you are going to end up as ordinary as any other person. But if your schedule is packed, all of a sudden you are beyond the natural. You are beyond the ordinary person and you achieve extraordinary results. But if you are a weakling, every small thing, I'm tired. Every, you, you listen to me, you will not achieve much. That's the truth. You cannot pray well. You cannot study the Bible well. You cannot be consistent because every time you are tired. Every time the body is tired. If you are a student, you cannot even learn hard. Because you learn small, your head is paining you. Your body is paining you. Your body is tired. This and that. You are a good student, but you learn small. You, you are able to understand what you learn, but you don't have energy to learn more. All of a sudden, you see that you are failing. Today, the Lord said that he's bringing strength. Receive strength in the name of Jesus. Listen, the end time army requires strength. And that's what God said I should talk about tonight. Tonight, everybody listening to me, any area where you need one form of strength or the other, receive that strength in the name of Jesus. Receive that strength in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout yes. I command your bones to be strong. I command your head to be strong. I command your eyes to be strong. I command your spinal cord to be strong. I command your bones, your knees, your legs, your feet, your hands, your fingers. Let your bones be strong. Anywhere there's weakness in any organ of your body, I declare strength in the name of Jesus. Shout yes. Give the Lord a shout of praise. 
Some people even want to shout, but they don't have strength. Receive strength now. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Yeah, yeah. Please be seated. Man. Last but one. C. Why is strength necessary? C. Strength is key to joy. Strength is key to joy. Job 39 verse 21. Strength is key to joy. Amen. <laughs> Strength is key to what? And joy is very, very important. Somebody shout joy. joy. Now, do you know that when you read Joel chapter 2 verse 9 going, he says something. He said, go, go to 10. Not, not that one. I want Joel chapter 1 verse 10. Joel 1 10. Good. Ready, go. The field is wasted. Uh -huh. The land mourneth. That means assassin is soon. For the corn is wasted. And as last as you soon. The new wine is dried up. The oil languishes. As I say, when you are in the sun, as I say, as I see you, she's a first lord. Continue for me. The, be ye ashamed, O ye husband men. How, O ye vine dresses, for the wheat and for the barley? Because the harvest of the field is what? So, the example, the harvest of blessings is perishing. The example, they, they are supposed to harvest blessings and testimonies, yet it is perishing. Why is the harvest of the field perishing? You let's read on. Ready, go. The vine is dried up. Uh -huh. The fig tree languishes. Uh -huh. The pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree. Even all the trees of the field are withered. Why? Because joy is withered away from the sons of men. Did you, did you see that? He said because joy is withered, every other thing is withering. Because joy is destroyed, every other thing is being destroyed. That means if joy is destroyed, every other thing is also destroyed. Joy. Somebody shout joy. joy. If joy perishes, your harvest perishes. Because you can sow prayer, you can sow commitment in church, you can sow service, you can sow money, you can sow in tears. But there's only one way you reap. How do you reap? You reap in joy. That means without joy, you cannot reap. Your name can be called joy, and yet you are depressed. I do, is my daughter Joy around? Caroline, where is Caroline? Caroline, aren't you called Joy? At first, weren't you depressed? That come for there. At first, weren't you called Joy? What, what is your name? I'm Joy. Joy, what? Joy, Caroline. Joy, Caroline. Yes. And yet, at first, weren't you depressed? Yes. What, 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 tell us. Okay, so at first I used to get so depressed over a whole lot of things. Yeah. But when I came to church over here and Papa uh, preached and over several times and I ended up feeding the word to my spirit, that was mm. when I noticed that there is change. Mm. And anytime the thought comes of me committing suicide. So that means you were depressed to the point of committing suicide. Yeah. Have you seen, yeah, what is your name? Joy. 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 Somebody, the word of God is entering you. Yeah. Because Jesus said, these words have I spoken unto you that your joy will be full. That means the word of God can make your joy full. Yeah. These words have I spoken unto you that your joy will be full. Do you know what joy does? Joy brings your harvest. The, of you, the reason why your harvest, your harvest has been delaying because your joy is also delaying. He said the fields of the trees have perished because joy has also perished. When joy perishes, your harvest perishes. You will always be joyful. Yeah. 
That's why sometimes you must laugh for no reason. Do you know that sometimes you could be depressed for no reason? No, listen, listen to listen to joy. At first you could be depressed for no reason. Nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. Nothing. And yet you were crying. Just, you were depressed. Just depressed. Just depressed. People can be depressed for no reason. You too, you must be laughing for no reason. Receive the oil of joy. Please be seated. So fire, you are welcome. Maybe a poem. Amen. Joy. joy It is very crucial. When you read that there's an antidepressant. When you read Hebrews chapter 1, verse 9, the Bible says something. He said, Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, do you know that God, the first God is you and I. He has made us gods in this world. He said, Therefore, God, even thy God. Do you see what he's talking, he's talking about? So when the God appears twice, what is referring to you? What is referring to God? So it's like saying, so therefore, Emmanuel. Do you know one, one name of God is Emmanuel? So it's like saying, Emmanuel, 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 thy Emmanuel. God, even thy God. So the first God was referring to us. And the second God was referring to God. Because the Bible said that ye are gods in this world. Am I communicating here? The Bible said those that the word of God comes to, they are gods in this world. That's John chapter 10, verse 34. He said, if he called them gods to whom the word of God came. That means if the word of God comes to you, the Bible calls you a God in this world. As he is in heaven, so are you in this world. Glory to Jesus. He said, Thou hast loved righteous and anything. Therefore, God, even thy God, has anointed you with what? Anointed you with what? And what would that do to you? The oil of gladness, how? The oil of gladness puts you above fellows. So all of us are colleagues, but one will be higher than the other. We are fellows, but one will be for somebody you are going higher. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Joy. Joy. Do you know that many people know that the joy of the Lord is equal to our strength? Nehemiah 8.10. Are you aware of that? But many people also don't know that the strength of the Lord is equal to our joy. Yeah. When you are strong, eh? When you are strong, it also makes you happy. If you like, ask macho man. Hey, macho, come. If you had not been born again and you were macho like this, when you meet everybody, what, what do you think? When you meet every, any, anybody, you meet anybody on the street and they are misbehaving, what, what, what do you think? <laughs> Sometimes you think you have to go and stop that fellow. Yeah. And you, do you do it with sorrow? No. What do you do it with? Sometimes you do it with confidence. With confidence. With joy, you think that like, God, I will handle him. <laughs> so, somebody, 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 hey, some woman will do, hey, boy. You see that the, the joy with which they are going, they, their strength, their strength brings them joy. Yeah. No, do you know that if you, when, when, when you are strong in mathematics and math exams is coming, aren't you joyful? You are happy. That strength brings you joy. But when you are not strong in math and math is coming, what do you do? How many divide the XC by higher doing? <laughs> when you are strong in English and English is coming, you say, oh wow. It's easy. A person like say, well, no. when you are strong in English and English is <laughs> you, you, you are just happy that it's coming. Now go, go to the scripture that we, 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 we wrote. Which scripture did you write? Job, Job chapter what? 39 verse what? Job chapter 39 verse what? Let's all read it. Ready, go. He poweth in the valley. Uh -huh. And what? In what? Rejoices in what? Rejoices in what? He rejoices in strength. So when you are strong, it is a connoisseur of joy. When you are strong, it's a conduit of joy. When you are strong, it is a channel of joy. He said he rejoices in strength. He rejoices in his strength. And because he rejoices in strength, what does he do? He goes on 
to meet the armed men. So the enemy may think, I have armed myself against him. You look at the enemy and say, ha, 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 ha. Grammy. You, you, are just, you are just laughing. You look at it and say, bring it on, bring it on. Because I'm going to handle it. And when the dust settles, I will be standing. The devil will be on the ground. Bring it on. Rejoices in his strength. He rejoices in what? In his strength. So it's not only the joy of the Lord that is your strength. The strength of the Lord is also your joy. Wow. Yeah. So when God strengthens you in the spirit, strengthens you in the soul, strengthens you in your body, it brings you joy. Even financial strength. Even when you have money and you don't use, you are smiling. If you like, ask my daughter, Mrs. Asante Tenkwai. Lady Pastor Abigail Asante Tenkwai. She will tell you about it. When you see a lot of money is in your account, do you, do you, do you cry? What, 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 what do you do? Yes! Just laugh. Financial strength. Yes! <laughs> Amen. When you see that a lot of, I mean, eggs, you are, you are strong in eggs. And people are buying the eggs. Aren't you happy? Very happy. Aren't you happy? Very, very happy. Yeah. Yesterday he came to tell me, Papa, the eggs you said I should bring to you, mine is finished. So Wednesday, God willing, I said, Yo, I'm not here. He, said, he said that they have bought everything. So when Mrs. Hansen cried, Lady Pastor B also had it, she also came to tell me, Papa, me too, Wednesday. Be a me you are rich now. So the, the, the strength of the Lord is your joy. Oh, give the Lord a shout of praise. <laughs> it's not because you are real. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And that's why you will never be sorrowful again. You will never be depressed again. Please be seated. Listen, you must understand that the devil is a devil of indirect rule. Uh, you must understand. When the devil is fighting this uh, in your life, it's not this one he wants, it's this one. Gadgets back grew in direct truth. That's what the devil does. So when the devil is fighting your employment, it's your joy he's looking for. Or it's your faith. When the devil is fighting maybe your relationship, everybody is breaking your heart. It's not the relationship he's, co he's concerned about. No, no, no. He's concerned about probably your belief in God. He's concerned about maybe your finances. Because that emotional drain will not give you the joy to work. And so it, it is affecting that area of your life. So when the devil is, is attacking something, look beyond it. And mostly, one of the things the devil is fighting, when he's fighting anything, is your joy. So when anything is happening, you tell yourself, my joy will not be taken. When your joy is taken, invariably your strength is also taken. And when you faint in the day of adversity, it's because your strength is small. So when joy is small, strength is small. And when strength is small, joy is small. And what affects you when you don't have strength affects you when you don't have joy. Hey, mathematics my natural. Spiritual mathematics and arithmetic. He poweth in the there is a balanced diet. He poweth in the valley and rejoiceth in his strength. Glory to Jesus. The last one, D. Let me close. Get your offerings ready. You can go back to your seat, never. Enduring riches as a result of strength. That's D. Enduring riches. Some people, money, do, money doesn't stay in their hands. Enduring riches. Enduring riches are as a result of strength. Proverbs 11, verse 16. Enduring riches. So the end time army will have a lot of strength. And one of the last reasons why the strength is important because it brings riches that stay. You know, that thing like, oh, he was a rich man and now he's begging. It should never be said of your life. Never. Oh, this lady was very rich. Now look at her begging all over social media or begging all over, I mean, the town. Going from family member to family member. It no go be in your life. It no go be. 
That's why you need strength. Strength. The end time army is an army of strength. We are horsemen. He said, a great army and a strong. A gracious, let's all read verse 11, 16, ready, go. A gracious woman retains honor. Continue. And strong men. What do they retain? Osajefo, when you are strong, Osajefo, when you are strong, you retain riches. Osajefo, when you are strong, Amen. God bless you. Bless you Lord. A gracious woman retaineth honor, and strong men retain riches. If you see somebody who has been rich for 40 years unbroken, that's a strong man. They retain, strong men retain, it's scripture. Strong men retain riches. Simple. Simple. So all you need to do is be strong in the spirit. Be strong in your soul. Be strong in your body. Even when you are strong in your body, you are able to enjoy the riches for a long time. Strength, that is even physical strength. Who did it? Never say so. Never did it so. I'm telling you. A strong man, I mean, a strong man retains riches. Many people, they get money and say, where's the money? <laughs> the country Grammy. No, we've seen many people who were rich and they don't have. In many families, they were the toast of the family. Everybody looked up to them. They, in fact, before you go to them, you, you, you have to even kneel down and walk about 10 steps. Kneel, you are kneeling walking. Like Wafa, you are the Wafa in the family. It's like you are the star. It's like, and all of a sudden, the person comes down to nothing. It's like, ah, what happened? Because if you don't have strength, eh, what is in your hand, in a the spirit, they can come and catch it. Snatch it away. Yeah. <laughs> and if you know Sinachi, hey, I'm able. <laughs> By now, we're releasing the fourth album. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm telling you. So some people, they have money, but all of a sudden, it's not there. And many people, they, 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 they like confessing in tree, music, trash. Like my capital is bent. That means it's no longer there. Any money I was using to start the business is gone. No longer there, ashe. It means that everything is gone. Some people, they confess like that. Even when the money is there, they say, when they don't want people to know that they have music, ashe. Listen, don't do that because of people. Some people, they always want to, to talk poor. Some people don't come to them and receive anything. Listen, it will really come to pass. When you talk poor, it will come to pass. Because every, you see, don't think that your mouth is not only for food, it's for creation. When somebody comes to you and you don't want to give, just tell the person that the money is for another thing. Simple as that. When they say you are wicked, it's not a problem. It's not they are saying you are wicked that will change anything. If you have what to, you can give them something, you give them something small. Say, so, please, this is what I can afford. So, but I think you were talking about some people, they even need job. But you were saying that you were going to remove container. Say, yes, it's for container. Should it remain at the port? One day I'll teach you something, especially the business people. When you are in business and every family member wants to take a piece of the business, you won't rise. That's not the time. One lady was in school and she was taking care of all the family members. Won't you die? At that point in time, you are the wrong person for the job because they're taking care of the families for a father and a mother. You are a sister. What can you do? You are a brother. What can you do? Very soon you become like them, looking for another person to take, to take care of all of you. You think that's how we live life? Life in life, you build roots. You have not built roots and you are taking care of people, everybody, very, very, very soon. You also go to the rules like them. You also be needing help from a so-called person who is doing well. Every family must understand that you must build your roots. You build your roots, build the stem, get your fruits, then you can take care of them like you are supposed to. But why, when that has not yet happened, I give you what I can per time. 
if you want another one you to go and work for it you have hands and you have feet i can't bear everything and be killing myself and at the end of the year i have nothing to reinvest into the business when the business also collapses they will still be able to live without you and yet now that you have the money they pretend as if if you don't bring them they are dying you must be wise be wise otherwise you are going to use your hands to pluck down your own business and your own financial fortune and you have no future and no finances in the future a strong man retains riches lift your hands i declare strength upon you you're about to pray take your offerings Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Is okay, I've closed. Oh, you are going to pray. Please, whilst you are seated, lift up your, 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 your offerings. Pray with the offering very well. Say after me, say, in the name of Jesus. Say, I receive strength. I walk in strength in my spirit in my soul in my body in my finances in my health say in my business in my employment say in my relationship in my marriage in my children's life say i declare strength say we walk in strength say i receive strength say i walk in strength say emotional strength say academic strength in the name of jesus say business strength in the name of Jesus, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Wherever you are, begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Some of you are praying, some of you are not praying. Lift your voice, open your mouth, pray. Pray for strength. Pray for strength. Pray for strength. Pray for strength. Over your CV, your proposals. Over your business proposals. Pray for strength. Over your resume, pray for strength. Over your business contracts, pray for strength every area pray for strength strong men retain riches pray for your body parts strength in your heart strength in your bones strength in your head strength in every part of your body pray for strength 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 yes don't stop don't stop pray for strength pray for strength man bale go bade so pa 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 pray for strength Pray for strength. Jalagaba kapaha. Embale brada kapala dasa. Entumbali kapa. Pretopilitisas. In Jesus' name. Amen. While the offering is on, miracle, you come and give your testimony, okay? All right. So come. You can come. You can put in your offering and you can come. You can come. And everybody can come. Please, a microphone. And you will help her with the testimony. My name is Della Daisy Miracle. Oh. <laughs> okay, so um, I was actually battling health issues. That was from 2019. And then I've been to several hospitals. They were not able to help me. Um, at the end of the day, I was on medication and then I was told I was going to develop a tumor in my head which means after undergo surgery, when that happens. So after church, I met Papa on the staircase. Papa told me to come and meet me, uh, meet him in the office. So I went to the office and then Papa said, Miracle, are you okay? It's like, there's something wrong with your head. And I said, Papa, I don't know, but I have a whole lot of health issues and this is what I've been told. So Papa prayed for me. And then after that, I stopped um, feeling those pains I used to have. And then, secondly, my menses also stopped for a while. It was close to a year. So I told Papa about it. Papa prayed for me. The moment I go home, he came and it has been consistent from, from that time. Wow. I didn't even know about this. Wow. Really? Congratulations. 
finish up, finish up. And then um, when I came to this church, I <laughs> I actually had a whole lot of issues. <laughs> Wow, that's my daughter. Well, with Papa and Mommy, everything has been so smooth. Everything has been well with me, and I'm so happy. I want to say God richly bless them. And then back to when I was in school. I think after my wasi, I, I failed. Yes. But then the amazing thing was that all the people I helped after I was done with my exams, they passed very well. I was like, I don't know why this thing is happening to me. And then I had to rewrite again. I wrote again. I helped people. They passed. And I still failed. Did they be out church for four years? I'm home. I didn't fall in chill. Even sometimes. I have a friend who owns a school in the eastern region so i could even wear a uniform and then replace the rights for somebody and get paid but mm. then when it comes to my own I and where the bonnet pass. <laughs> <laughs> so when it comes to my own exams i don't pass and then i told papa about it papa prayed for me i went to write and then i passed very well yes. and now i'm in the business school of ghana Lebanon. Thank you. Because of your testimony, Solo said he, he's also going to write his one CSLs. Wow. Wow. He said he will pass. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Wow. And now you are in the University of Ghana Business School. Yes. Wow. So she has passed. Congratulations. Her testimonies are a lot. And look at what she's sharing with us. Menses from one, for one year was not coming. When we prayed, she went home the same day. It came. And from that time, it has been consistent. That's an amazing, amazing, amazing thing from the Lord. And you were telling me that the sickness, I mean, and the tumor and other things were making your... Yeah, I was gaining so much weight. You were gaining so much, and you couldn't control it. Yes. Whether you ate or not. Yes, I was going to the gym. I did everything. Thing. Wow. Uh, it wasn't working. Now, it wasn't working. And yet, yeah. when prayers were made, same day, and enough is very short, small prayer. It's not the length, it's not the length of the prayer, it's the weight, it's the strength. Yeah. Today you are going home with strength. Amen. Wow. You have another thing to say? Or you are done? That's is she done? Yeah. Wonderful. God bless you. God bless you. Can we celebrate the King of Kings? Bring the offering. Please be seated. Stretch forth your hands over the offering. The offerings are blessed with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are sick in any part of your body, lift up your right hand and put a left, your left hand where the sickness is. If you are sick in any part of your body. Oh, yeah, we only put them, baby. I'm also right, so. And I found some left to be a pain the one. And let me pray for you. And say after me, say, I receive my healing now because of what Christ has done for me on the cross. Every pain, go now in Jesus' name. Amen. Now I declare healing. Be healed in your body now in the name of Jesus. I curse every pain right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus name. I curse the sickness. I curse tumor. I curse evil growths. In any part of your body. I command the growths to disappear. In Jesus name. Walk in health. Walk in vitality. You are healed. In Jesus name. Amen. It's done. Let's celebrate the Lord. Let's celebrate the Lord. Amen and amen. Wednesday we are coming to church. Well, it's Christine around. Christine, come and let's pray for your mother. Please let's be seated. How's, how's your mom?
declare total healing for your mother. In Jesus' name. Declare your mother is healed. She's healed. The devil of stroke, the devil of darkness is out. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for her. When she starts walking, bring her to church again. At first, we were telling her to come. Uh, so now tell her that I'm very interested in her case. She should come. I'll minister to her, right? God bless you. I bless you. Begin to do well. Do well. Do well in life. Do well. Like Joseph did well. Do well. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I told him I'll pray for him when he came to see me at the office. During AGM. And it's done. You are going to do so well. In Jesus' name. Amen. Wednesday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Please ask somebody for me. Have you been coming for Wednesday service? Tell them I've not been seeing you. Is Emmanuel here? Mommy, so. Emmanuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Emmanuel, you're, you're, I want to say you have done very well. We met him at the mall and ministered the word of God to him. And he came for the morning service. And when he came to meet us at the office, he said, oh, I'll wait for the evening service. Emmanuel, I want to say, God, will she bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Amen. Met him at China, Mom. And he's a worker there, and he's very, when, when you go, he serves you very well. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. He's very diligent. He's hard working. It's like he, he will follow you everywhere and serve you. Yeah. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Akalel is the same place. You know him. When you were there, he was not yet there. Amen. God bless you. Amen and amen. We are close. If today's your first time of coming, can you wave your hands and let's welcome you? Today's your first time. Any first time I hear? Any first time I hear? All right. Oh, let's clap for him. Wow. God bless you. Who brought you to church? If you, you know you are the one, let me know. Anita. Wow. God bless you. You have done well. Can we stand with a shout of praise? Let's take the closing song. We are proud of you. You are looking very beautiful today. God bless you. Amen. <laughs> Lift up your two hands. <laughs> the Lord bless you and keep you. <laughs> the Lord cause me to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The name of the Lord is named upon you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> it's a great week for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. 
I'm come back with me, but mean to me, can you do officer? Okay. Let's share that. Please, if you are not born again, when we close, Pastor Phillips, when you meet the new person, we do it for you. Let's share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be this now forevermore. Amen. And surely, you next message shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall do the house of God forever and ever. I love you.